Welcome to Games Are Us and in today's uh, episode of Pokemon Planet World I'm gonna talk about Ancient Cave and Ancient Dungeon. So when it comes to uh, Ancient Cave and of course the Ancient Dungeon that is the ultimate goal first thing you need to get in there is the Ancient Key and an Ancient Key it's not something you can just buy uh, on the global market or from another player this is untradeable item and it needs to be crafted which means there's more than one part you have two halves of the ancient key that you need to collect before you can enter and one of those uh, parts is called tooth half and you can buy it here in casino price seller for 30,000 uh, casino tokens that's one way to do it or you can simply go to um, philanthropist point shop and the, uh, as you know, the Philanthropist Point shop is based in Saffron City, in Sleepco building, which is basically based in the middle of the town. Uh, and you have also Ancient Key Tooth Half here for 15,000 Philanthropist Points. So it's the same half of the key, but there's two ways of getting it. The other half, you can either go to uh, Altering Cave, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Altering Cave is based here on Route 103 in Hohen. This is the ticket seller and that's what it is. Um, so basically what you have to do is go into Altering Cave and hope for a drop. So if you get lucky you're gonna get a drop of the loop half of the key. I must admit that's how I got mine. I actually got lucky and had the drop so I didn't have to buy mine. Um, and another way of buying the loop half is for the clan wars tokens so there it is the clan building uh, here in vermilion city on the right hand side uh, and unfortunately if you're not a clan member and you're not collecting any points you're not doing clan wars then unfortunately you won't be able to uh, receive it there it is uh, ancient key loop half for 700 uh, clan war tokens Let's go and show you where the actual ancient cave and ancient dungeon actually is and what's there. So let's go. First thing uh, you need to know it's in Hohen, it's in another cave. You have to uh, take the ferry. Right here it is, the Dufort town. That's where you gotta go. And then, oh, let me just swap some of my uh, Pokemon before I go there. You go up north, then left, down the beach. You got some NPCs here you can fight if you like. I'm sure you already done it if you already got here. And now you have a granite cave. Um, you have to get in here to get to the ancient cave just follow the um, there's only there's only one way of getting there and it's pretty easy now granite caves got a few interesting Pokemon itself let just me let me just show you the uh, it's a Maywile um, it's here you got nose pass Abra Makahita and Aaron If you haven't caught them yet then you have an opportunity and there it is this is the entrance to ancient cave of course once you have your key and you um, crafted it it will allow you come in otherwise you won't be able to now let's check it out what we got available here when it comes to Pokemon this is the main area of an ancient cave and interesting Pokemon here are Excadrill and Hippo Hippopotas and that's the two now I'm gonna first show you around the ancient cave there is a few caves in here every single of them have a different Pokemon you can catch let me just um, put the repels on so I'm not being interrupted every five seconds and I'm just gonna quickly show you so you know your way around 
So you basically stick to the right side of the uh, map and that is the f one of the caves. This is cave, uh, ancient cave R4 which contains Heracross and Mama Swine and Toxicrog, Delibu, Real Medic, Medicham, well, and the, all the other ones that are not really uh, important because they're just common and uncommon. Now, as you're following that right hand side going up north, you're gonna have yet another cave. There it is Ancient Cave R3 which has a very important Pokemon around here which is Larvesta you have Houndoom and Torakol Pyra so there's an interesting uh, Pokemon in this cave uh, most of these Pokemon come handy even player versus player fighting but not only now if you keep following the cave now I'm gonna go left a bit and show you the uh, cave right at the top just keep following this part let me just switch on another repel uh, must have already run out I did not know this right so there is another cave here right at the top and this is the um, ancient cave uh, R5 and that's where you can find Gumi I'm pretty sure because I remember hunting it here for myself there he is and all the other Pokemon here are not really worth mentioning but Gumi is because you need that for your pseudo achievement the pseudo, pseudo legends that you can catch uh, around here and one of them is directly in, into an uh, ancient dungeon now if you keep going left there will be another cave here and this is cave R2 and you can catch Dragonite here um, if you surf Milotic if you fish or Jelly uh, Sand sorry Seismitoad but if you just want to walk around you have a Bronzong Slowpoke and there's not really anything else worth mentioning now again if you keep following the cave now you get out from there and you start following it down on the left hand side there's going to be yet another cave I'm going to have to use yet another repel so go left here again left this is the bottom of the cave again so it's sort of like a mirror image of the other side and this is ancient cave R1 and here you can catch amongst other Pokemon you can catch Among Us uh, let me just type in this properly there it is Among Us, Torkoal, Weezing, Gloom and this is the, these are the Pokemon you have in ancient caves but the actual ancient cave uh, ancient dungeon is here so if basically if you walked in go left straight away and just follow the footpath and then go right up here following these because the ancient dungeon is right in the middle of it all you have to go up here again go right and there it is dungeon explorer he will inform you that the place is the ancient dungeon and is incredibly dangerous and if you wouldn't enter unless you would fully equip team of level of hundreds and that's simply because Pokemon around here are enhanced they're much stronger faster than normally they would be uh, also you lose 30% of the gain of the pocket dollars because of part of map control so you can actually do a map control on these maps around here but you earn less but you gain extra experience and you got extra drop rate in ancient dungeon uh, by 200% and here you can find Regigigas and you can also find a legendary bait as a random drop from another Pokemon you also can fish you can surf so you have other available stuff but there's nothing new here that I've already haven't showed you um, also 
when it comes to the ground like I mentioned you have Cle Cle Clefery here Happiny, Alkazam, Dano, Shroomish the more interesting ones and at the same time you can do some mining here you've got the uh, pale gems you've got dark gems here and another important news is you cannot run from Pokemon here so you need to make sure you are prepared for them because if you aren't this is going to be a very short journey you're going to be wasting a lot of potions and revives and all sorts so I would suggest if you just want to come here for hunting the Dano then just simply grab a Pokemon with a teleport but it needs to be fast enough it needs to be a fast Pokemon or simply give him a choice item like a choice scarf so you can um, or just use repels so you can um, you can just teleport from them and just wait for the right Pokemon you want that is also here for that side when he's sending that person here that's the rainbow um, gems which there's a couple around here there's another one right at the top of the map um, but at the same time make sure I would suggest to have an Alkazam a good Alkazam has a really good speed and really good special attack simply because it will help you you can fight the Pokemon and you can easily kill them like I say but it needs to be strong enough Pokemon so don't just come here in the any random one uh, because you will not uh, you'll not survive for long you're gonna have a problem and it's just simply not worth it like you see now I haven't really done much damage he's just done the recovery all I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use a star me because I'm gonna use surf and as we know surf will uh, it's super effective against it so I'm not worried but I'm gonna put another repel just to show you around I'm gonna show you where the other rainbow um, gem is you have to go to the left side of the map and just follow this narrow footpath up it will lead you to another small part of the cave and it's up there at the end it's on that side so this one here is a rainbow one uh, the rest of them is just dark ones here the one you couldn't see because they were mined so yeah so like I mentioned make sure you have a, a good Alkazam this is the one that I'm preparing right now my speed is good 27 by the time I obviously evolve it into Alkazam this is gonna get increased even more so and I still got another eight levels to go but just like I say I'm making sure I'm gonna have it strong enough and the special attack is at 31 I want to make sure that when I hit them I kill them or if you do know this that you can not kill them, make sure you have a teleport so you can teleport from them so you don't have to die all the time so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful for you guys and i see you in the next one so take care for now